<laughs> so windy good morning good afternoon good morning good afternoon good evening wherever you're watching from you're very welcome to the channel my name is amir i'm an indian living in ireland for the past few years working here currently and i'll be here for another year or so and uh, in the meantime i would like to bring you the information that you wouldn't generally find on internet <laughs> uh, that's a train it's been ages since i saw the train last time very soon i'll be going back to work even though the lockdowns in place but my business is uh, open because uh, it's do or die for them i've also received some uh, special uh, uh, letter with permission from the uh, authorities uh, the police in fact uh, have mentioned that uh, i should be allowed to travel even when there's a lockdown so uh, if you're someone who has recently joined this channel guys uh, welcome once again almost 111 people have joined since my last video uh, we talk about uh, life career and education abroad and i hope you find the information that i share with you uh, helpful okay i'm just going for a little grocery run the groceries uh, mean uh, getting and getting egg and breads and maybe beer uh, that's pretty much about it that's how i'm living my life i'll be indoor pretty soon and uh, we won't have to be bothered about this uh, when and we'll continue our talk from the title of this video you already know what we are going to talk about now if you have seen some of my previous videos and gone through the comment section you would notice that a lot of people ask i have chosen a certain course what is the scope for it i believe that is a wrong question to ask instead of choosing a course you should choose an industry then research about the industry and then select a course that relates back to that industry and to make your research a little easier i am bringing you some new information about the jobs that are in most demand if you are someone who have decided to study abroad and you are wondering what course you should study again i am coming to the same point you need to familiarize yourself with one term stem s t e m science engineering maths including it and technology this is the answer to Uh, this is the answer to your question if you're ever wondering what to uh, do or what is the best course to get uh, post graduation in your answer lies in stem be it uh, uk be it canada be it australia or be it ireland always choose a course that relates back to stem i have mentioned this before a lot of times in my previous videos and i would say it again that i am going to talk about financial services it and technology and engineering industries these are the sectors that continue to uh, generate a lot of employment and the trend would continue even after the covid-19 situation uh, has passed us and that brings me to the most in demand job in ireland needless to say it is software engineers java software engineers and developers software developers continue to be in high demand mainly because a lot of companies uh, a lot of big organizations are setting dublin as their headquarters for the emea region that is europe and middle east as well as africa so thanks to brexit uh, dublin is seen as a favorable place uh, to uh, operate their uh, emea business from and uh, hence a lot of big companies open their software development hubs here i believe that we are heading into the second generation of software development a lot of softwares from the earlier 20th centuries were uh, developed on uh, legacy systems and these and they need to be upgraded so there would always be demand for good software developers engineering now ireland has become the second biggest exporter of medical devices and pharmaceutical machinery in europe so needless to say a lot of big companies such as uh, johnson and johnson as well as boston scientific have set up their headquarters here and there continues to be a huge demand for uh, good engineers financial services i'm talking about banking and insurance there's a lot of demand for uh, compliant engineers a lot of money has gone out of the industry and a lot of money is uh, supposed to get back into the industry once the situation surpasses us so there would always be demand for risk and compliance uh, uh, professionals in financial services other than that as i've mentioned in my previous videos there would always be demand for chartered accountants for a number of accounting jobs here in ireland language professionals multilingual language professionals a lot of new jobs are coming for people who can speak more than uh, one language that is english if there is if you have good proficiency in german dutch or even french there's a lot of requirement in the industry currently 
usually companies have to search for such candidates overseas so instead of doing that companies would always prefer if they can find if they can find such a talent locally and if you are from one of the stem backgrounds and you you are multilingual then it's like uh, then it's like gold well that's it let's keep it short i want to keep this discussion short because there's something that i need to uh, take care of i have a call scheduled uh, in a few minutes now i thought we'll have a longer discussion than this but don't worry i'll get back to you guys pretty soon with another video and we'll continue our discussion about uh, life and career so take care of yourself bye bye